What up? This is your boy, Doughboy, and this is another installment of the Movie Review Show. What is the Movie Review Show? Well, it's kind of self-explanatory, and I've done this about eight or nine times at this point. But if you need to know, it's me getting the movies, watching them, and letting you know, is it worth your hard-earned money? But more importantly, is it worth your hard-earned time? So a lot of times, I'll go to the digital streaming platforms and see these movies that they're dropping and let you know, is it, you know what I'm saying, adequate for you to be wasting your time upon watching it. The movie that I watched this week was actually based on a true story. And I was excited to watch it. It was a movie called Pain Dealers, and it was on Netflix, okay? It stars Chris Evans and Emily Blunt. <clears throat> and it was a movie based on, like, the medical industry and basically, like, a bunch of froth and stuff that was going on. And, um, you know what I'm saying, getting, like, the, uh, the doctors to write fake prescriptions and a bunch of stuff, you know, that went along with it. This movie, it was super dope. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I like the movie, for one, whenever you got a movie that's based on a true story, it like rings a little bit differently because you're like, <clears throat> these things really happen. So, you know what I mean? Even though, you know, they may add a little bit of stuff in or take a little bit of stuff out, for the most part, you know, this is some stuff that really had happened. So you have a little bit more of a realistic gauge and a, and a, and a connection and a closeness to it because you're like, oh, this is... You know what I mean? This is based on a true story. So watching it, I was like, you know, I kind of became invested in the characters. And the main character, Emily Blunt's character, like, you fall in love with her instantly. Like, you know what I'm saying? She has a kid that suffers with a medical condition. She's a stripper. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is the world she comes from before she gets into the world of selling medication, you know what I'm saying, in the world to the doctors and whatever the sort. So... Just following her story and her uh, and her stuff, like it's super crazy. And then the her co-star Chris Evans, who's one of the dopest actors in the game, he, you know, what I'm saying his character and what he does, like he's just in the game trying to get it how he lived, like you know what I mean. But he's a hustler, like for real to the heart. So like they just kind of they just and you can just kind of see them eventually both, like kind of like as the movie builds on, you can just kind of see how it just kind of rolls and rolls and just gets out of control and then it just goes crazy um the the wild part about it too is that for as much drama as it has and the crazy storylines that it has going on it's a lot of comedy in it too so it really is funny and it's a dark comedy so it's like there's a lot of funny parts to be laughed at like you know what i mean and you know what I'm saying good times to be had so i definitely rock with this movie. I definitely feel like it's a certified Netflix and chill type of situation that you can get involved into. Um, if you want to watch something that has like, you know, some cool comedy or whatever, it's definitely something that you can watch. If you definitely want something that has some drama and like, you know what I'm saying, a cool story, I think that, uh, you know, it makes sense. It is a little bit on the long side. It clocks in at about two hours, but it never feels long. Like, you know what I'm saying? The story doesn't drag along. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they do a lot of, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I know you guys, I've, I almost say this like every video that we do. But your boy is starting to write movies and different stuff like that. So I'm starting to learn how to like do character weaving and A stories and B stories and antagonists and protagonists. Like, so like raising the stakes. So like, it's a lot of that going on. So from a technical standpoint of the movie, the movie's like flawless. Like they build the stakes they have you vested in every character like they bring different things around they have more than one story they have characters that will come and give you a piece of information and they'll come back so like from a technical standpoint the movie was really really good but then also just on just a just a straight bang for bang just bang for your buck watch the movie what did i feel one out of ten about an eight seven Give out an eight seven, like it's you know what I'm saying. It's it's up there, like you know what I mean. It's not without its flaws. Like I said, it's a little long. It's a little, you know, it's a little long. So I feel like maybe they could have shaved a little bit off of it. You know, that's one critique maybe that I could have. Um, but like I said, it never it never drug on. But I just felt like you know what I mean. It could have been a little shorter, maybe. But um, so yeah, I mean, it wasn't perfect. But it 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 checked off a lot of the uh, boxes, you know what I'm saying, on the paper. So definitely worth your watch, you know what I'm saying. You're definitely not gonna fall asleep on it. And you know, if you if you're like me, you'll go and do like a rabbit hole, and you know, go <laughs> you'll basically go jump down a rabbit hole and hop on Google and YouTube, and you can like pull up stuff 
about the true story about it, and you can really see like this is really based on true people, and you can like see the actual people and hear like the news stories and. You know, people really went down for this stuff. Like, it's really crazy. So, not only is it a good movie, it's interesting enough for you to go and dig up the true story. And I think that's a, even another couple hours you can spend doing that after you watch the regular movie. So, yeah, like I said, 8.7. Hop in the comments. Let me know what movie you guys want me to review next. I've kind of been thinking about, instead of always reviewing the big movies that come out in the theaters, maybe focusing more on the digital movies. So, if there's some movies on a streaming platform and you know I need to watch it, Throw it in the comments. I'll try to review it next. Let you guys know what I feel about it, all right? This has been your boy Dobor. I'm going to check y'all out next time on the review show. Peace.